Hey everyone, it's Mark at Aluma Trailers, and today we're going to show you how to install the rock guard on your MC210 or your MC2F trailer. Obviously, this will work also on the MC1F, it's just a different trailer, but it's the same procedure. So, when you get your trailer in, you're going to get your hardware bag, which will have your lug nuts to install the tires and wheels, but most importantly, it's going to have the hardware for the rock guard installation. It will have the instructions in there, but let's just run through what's in the kit. You'll have your three pieces to your rock guard, which we'll show you when we get to the trailer. But you'll have your six bolts here with your six lock washers and your flat washers, which will actually be for attaching into the huck bolts. And then you'll have your nine bolts with your uh, two washers, your two washers for each and your lock nuts on this. These will be to attach to the angle piece on the trailer. Tools you're going to need for this installation will be your 916 open end wrench, your 916 inch socket, your 732nd Allen wrench or your Allen wrench set, your impact, and your 3 8 drill and bit. So with that, let's move over to the trailer and we'll do the installation. Okay, we're at our MC2F trailer and we're going to start the rock guard. Now, as you can see, we set it up, but this is the passenger side piece and you can see the huck bolts in here. All we're going to do is slide it in to line it up. Now, if you remember, we had our bolts with our lock washer and our flat washer. So we'll take those and we'll just loosely bolt it together. Now there's three bolts on the driver's side, three bolts on the passenger side, and you'll get all three snugged in here. And you do have to just line it up to get it to start in. So now let's go over to the driver's side and we'll put these three in. Okay, now we're snugged up on the upright bolts. Let's attach the bolts to the angle on the trailer. For this, we'll use the other inch and three eighths bolts along with the two flat washers and the lock washer. Now we'll put one washer on and we will go through. Now we're gonna to have to line these up and we'll attach the bolts in through there. Snugging them in and then putting the flat washer and the lock nut on there. And just so you know, a lot of times have your 3 8 inch drill and drill bit because you may end up adjusting the holes just to get the proper angle to fit in there. So we'll go ahead and attach all these to finish it up. And this is one we will have to adjust out the hole. Put on our safety goggles and our gloves. And as you can see, it's not much to adjust out. It's just getting the fitment right. Okay, now let's move over to the driver's side. Now there is three bolts on each side, the front, so you'll have to get all of them in here. So we'll put these in and then we'll finish this up. 
Okay, now that we have all the bolts inserted, now we're gonna go through and we're gonna tighten it up. You can use your impact and your uh, 7 30 seconds Allen, and you can just insert and tighten these up as we go. I would make sure the washer goes behind so it doesn't fold the washer over also. Okay, and then after we tighten the rest of these up, we'll go through and tighten the uprights up. And these you'll only use the Allen wrench, you won't use the impact. Go through and tighten all of these up. Okay. Now we've had the rock guard, all the bolts tightened. We've made sure everything's ready to go. That's the completion of the rock guard installation on an MC motorcycle trailer.